The celebrated author Jane Austen in her book, Pride and Prejudice, has the protagonist Elizabeth's father speak to her about her impending marriage to a certain Mr. Collins. He says, an unhappy alternative is before you, Elizabeth. From this day, you must be a stranger to one of your parents. Your mother will never see you again if you do not marry Mr. Collins. And I will never see you again if you do. Not all of us are slapped with such difficult choices. Yet, choose we must, however insignificant it may seem. But is what seemingly insignificant really insignificant? And so, once upon a time. professor at the Academy of Arts in Vienna was a meticulous man. He believed that art was not an accident. It was talent, most certainly, but it was also a lot of hard work and a tireless striving for perfection. Art, however, was not the only thing in life that needed thoughtful attention. Of all the things the professor was meticulous about, he was most meticulous about choices. He had read what the famous seer of all times, Nostradamus, had said, the future is nothing but the consequences of our actions. Those lines had never left him. He had kept that lesson very close to his heart. It was a beautiful morning in the city of Vienna. The breeze brought in the fresh fragrance from the gardens around the professor's house. But the professor was oblivious to all this. He was busy thinking about the choices he had to make that day. In his position at the Academy of Arts in Vienna, he had the authority to decide on the list of uh, the final entrants based on the work submitted by them. It always gave him sleepless nights to have the burden of so many careers in his hands. It was as if he was not only choosing for himself, but also choosing for the academy, but most of all, for the young entrants themselves. He knew every time he rejected a young entrant, the entrant would go through a lot of angst. But in the long run, it was for the best. To allow mediocre talent would be a disservice to the talent more than anything else. But on this morning, something was troubling him deeply. A young entrant had applied with a collection of his work not once, but twice. And on that day, he had to decide on this entrant's fate, to let him into the academy or not. The choice weighed like a burden on him. He had no idea why it was bothering him so much. He was used to doing this every year. But this candidate, there was something about his work. Something made him feel like destiny was watching him very closely. Asking him to be very careful this time around. He walked to the academy and locked himself up in his office going over the sketches not once, not twice, but more times than he could remember. What was this feeling of dread that he could not shake off? Why such a sense of evil foreboding? 
professor could see the Austrian Alps from his window at the academy. The landscape generally filled him with tranquility and this they could not help him. Normally he wouldn't take so long to decide on an entrant but this one and then he chastised himself. It is not like the fate of the world dependent on him. There was only that much that one could procrastinate. He sat back at his desk and then taking a pen from his holder he scribbled not admitted. Tossing the sketch aside, he saw the name one last time. It read Adolf Hitler.